I'll let Jason go first. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll say this about Michael. Uh, he is a complex character, uh, an individual that you could write many tomes of knowledge on. Uh, uh, and a- actually, as the season wore on, yes, I hated his guts. And then I didn't mind him so much. And now I'm back to hating his guts. Go ahead, Mike. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're saying I'm a complex character, Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, you have about 15 different personalities. Um, Jason's one of those guys, you know what I mean? You have love him or you hate him. Um, I definitely hate him. I think most people around him find him very, very annoying. I know people on The Ultimate Fighter did, and uh, I was no different. And um, at the start of the show, I hated him. During the show, I hated him. At the end of the show, I hated him. December 3rd, I'm going to kick his ass. So it's all good. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, the format for the show um, hadn't changed. Um, so, you know, in, in some, in you know, in a lot of ways, it was it was the same. Apart from obviously, I, w- I wasn't coaching the national team, you know, the, the British team. Um, I was more comfortable with that this time. You know, I've said many times that I was never comfortable with. Uh, UK versus USA, you know, it kind of seemed like I was anti-USA, uh, which was never the case. Um, but this time, you know, I mean, I, I had a great time filming the show. Uh, my team were a fantastic team. Um, you know, obviously, the new weight classes, you know, the, the, the fighters themselves, you know, they, they were very dedicated. They trained very, very hard. They listened to everything we had to say. They wanted to improve. You know, they, they weren't there for air time. They, they were all real fighters. And, uh, and when you see the fighter season, you'll know what I mean. You know, the fighters were absolutely incredible and all in all I th- I'm very happy with it and I feel it was a good season uh, as I said the fights were great uh, my team did a good job and, and I feel I represented myself pretty well so you know all in all I'm pretty happy with it uh, I don't know yeah I, I definitely got an understand as you'll see as you'll see as the season plays out uh, there, there was quite man I mean apart from the like unbelievable fights that happened uh, on the Ultimate Fighter, including uh, I got to watch the the first two episodes and, and uh, uh, what uh, the main thing I I recognized was that Dana White, uh, the man who's watched uh, more fights than than anyone I can think of, ha- has exclusively put a stamp of these are the best fights to get into the house ever. So once he said that, I was like, well, that's my tagline right there. That, if he says these are the best fights to get in, then these are the best fights. But but aside from the excellent fights and and uh, you know the very talented group of guys who came into the show, the, me and Mike definitely, definitely uh, uh, just our personality clash put a damn good show on. Like uh, there's no there's no way around it. And and I think that the UFC is, I credit the UFC for for making that decision to put uh, us opposite of each other uh, because we both have a strong personality and they're bound to clash. Right. Sounds like you're trying to sweeten me up there so I don't beat you too badly on December 3rd, Jason. <laughs> I, know. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I think you're way worse an idiot than I am, and I'm going to smash your face and choke you. However, oh, you're, 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 you're hey, good. hey. I'm just saying, see, you've been warming I'm just saying Mike. Nice to see you've been warming up on your sister. I definitely won't be practicing guillotine escapes. <laughs> Escape a guillotine from you, then. That should be good. You make sure to practice them. Actually, I'll send you a number. 